Hey everybody, Ian here from Fraser Ford and Coburg. Today we're going to be taking a look at my deal of the week. So this is a 2022 Ford Escape Titanium with the Titanium Elite Package. So this is a fully loaded uh, Titanium Escape. It's got uh, essentially pretty much every feature that you can get on this vehicle. Uh, we're going to go over some of those today. Um, so the Titanium is going to come with a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine with the 8 speed transmission. So that is a, a powertrain we use across our product line and some of our larger vehicles even like the uh, Ford Edge and even the Lincoln Nautilus. Uh, we also put in the Lincoln Corsair, so it's a solid powertrain. It's got tons of power, uh, 250 horsepower, and you're gonna get 280 pound-feet of torque. If you compare that to the old V6 we used to put in these cars, uh, the old V6 only had 240 horsepower, 233 pound-feet of torque. So with this, you're gonna get more power and you're even gonna get better fuel economy as well. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's super windy up here. It's very cold. Uh, I'm going to show you one or two more features on the outside of the vehicle, and then I'm going to hop in and show you what this is done. Uh, one note here, uh, the wheels on this, uh, they are our from our winter safety package. Those are winter tires on 17-inch alloy rims. Um, we'll talk about whether or not those come with the vehicle at the end of the video, and what kind of a special price we're going to give you on this car as well. So you're going to get your tow package on this. That's so a full factory installed tow package with your hitch and your trailer sweight control. So you're going to be able to tow up to 3,500 pounds. You're going to get backup sensors. You're also going to get front sensors. And you're also going to get the uh, uh, active park assist. So it uses those sensors to help you park your vehicle parallel, perpendicular, and it'll pull up a parking spot as well. So it's got all that technology built into it and some more stuff, which we're going to go over in a second. Your cargo area here. It's pretty substantial if you've been looking at other vehicles in the compact SUV segment, it's comparable. Uh, but with this, you can actually slide your seat up a little bit and have a little bit more space there. And of course, these fold down so they're pretty much flush with the uh, uh, cargo area in the back here. Okay, let's hop inside this thing, get warmed up, and I'm going to show you what else it's got here. So we're going to start over here on the left, and I'll just work my way over to the right. And we're going to go, going to go over some of the features that uh, I use almost every day. So right at the bat here, you've got memory settings. So if you have multiple drivers, you've got driver one, driver two, driver three, and that'll remember where you like your seat and remember where you like your mirrors. Of course, you've got power equipment over here. Um, right here, you've got your lane keeping system. So that will help keep you in your lane. If you're veering out of your lane, you can set it up so it'll vibrate your steering wheel and you can even set up so it'll pull you back into your lane as well. The more advanced version of this is your lane centering. So the lane centering works in co combination with your adaptive cruise control. And I use this feature every day. I drive about 60 kilometers to work and back every day. So I'm using this all the time. How it works is it'll automatically slow you down if it senses a vehicle in front of you is going slower than you and then speed you up and kind of match their speed. Um, so it's a great feature just to kind of relax and enjoy your coffee on your commute to work. You've also got your directional pad over here for your instrument cluster, which we're going to go over in a little in a second there, and a little button here for your heads-up display. So the heads-up display is a really cool feature. I don't know if you can make that out there, uh, but it'll show you your speedometer. It'll even show you the speed limit that you're supposed to be going at. So if you miss the sign, you don't know what the speed limit is, it will show up in there. Um, and then in your instrument cluster here, it's all digital. So it's a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster. Um, it's somewhat customizable. You can pull up some different screens on there, trip computers, fuel economy information, that sort of thing. Um, I have, have my fuel economy information up because I just wanted to show you guys, if you look at the window sticker for this car, it's rated at 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. I do do mostly highway, but I also do some city. I'm getting 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers, and that's over the course of 14,000 kilometers. Uh, so you get really good fuel economy on this vehicle, even with that 250 horsepower, two liter engine. You're also gonna get automatic wipers, which is really nice. You just set that and forget it. When it senses moisture on your windshield, the wipers come on. You're gonna get your rotary transmission interface here which I like. You're gonna get your uh, uh, electronic parking brake, which is really cool. And the reason I like this is when you engage the parking brake, if you forget to disengage it before you drive, it will pop out, so you're not gonna damage your vehicle. You also have different drive modes. And this is another feature that I use all the time, and you can just press this button right here and toggle through the different modes. So here's what happens. You hit that button, and you've got your normal, your eco, your sport, your slippery, and then you've got your snow sand assist and then back to normal so it just cycles through those most people leave it and keep it on normal i keep mine on eco i want to save a little bit of money on gas uh, and then you do have that sport mode if you know you need to pass somebody that's uh that's you know going a little bit too slow on the on the 401 so some really handy drive modes there and the eco and sport really do make a difference 
You've also got your active park assist, which I talked about earlier. That will help you park and pull out of parking spots. Um, and then you've got your auto start stop. If you don't like that feature, just hit this button right here and the engine won't shut off when you're at a stoplight. And then over here, you've got your parking sensors. If you don't want it beeping at, when you, at you when you're parking, you can shut that off as well. So underneath here, you've got a wireless charger. So you just set your phone down there. It works with most phones and even most cases. So I, I used to have an OtterBox on my phone. I put it in there, it would charge it right through the OtterBox. You've also got a USB and a USB-C. So that makes it a little bit more future-proof because that's the way all the phones are being built now with the USB-C. Dual zone temperature control. Of course, you're gonna get heated seats, but one of my favorite features, the heated steering wheel. So that's gonna come on when you turn your remote start on in the winter time, get your car nice and toasty, your steering wheel ready to go, and it just makes your commute a lot better. And then up top here, you have Sync 3. So this is an eight inch touchscreen display. Uh, for a while there, some motor companies, including us, were decontenting our vehicles because we didn't have enough semiconductors to build them with navigation and satellite radio. Fortunately, this one was not decontented, so it does have navigation and satellite radio on it. Of course, you're gonna get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Another feature that I love is the B&O sound system. So this has a 10 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system, really high quality sound. So even if you're listening to a podcast or an audiobook, it just comes through a lot clearer. And if you're listening to bassier music, it's awesome. And then up top here, you've got your nice dual panel panoramic Vista moonroof. And that opens to about halfway, really brightens up the interior and you get a little air going in the summertime, but certainly not in a day like today. So that is the Titanium Escape with the Titanium Elite Package. And the Elite Package gives you this nice two-toned leather as well. So this tan leather, uh, and then the tanned accents on the dash and the doors, and then even this nice European stitching in the leather wrap steering wheel there that matches the leather and the trim on, on the dash. So I think it's really well thought out and it breaks up the interior so it's not black on black on black and it just looks really nice. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about pricing. So here's the deal that we're going to do on this vehicle. So as I mentioned, it does have 14,000 kilometers, just over. So it is a demo, but because it's a demo, it means you still get access to Ford Credit's interest rates if you're financing the car. So right now, Ford Credit has a rate of 3.49%, depending on the term. Um, so you're going to get that rate, and we're also going to give you a discount off of MSRP of 48.45. So almost $5,000 off this vehicle. Um, now that's if you don't need the winter tires. If you do need the winter tires, we're still gonna give you a great deal. So from the 47,844, which is your MSRP, we're gonna bring it down to uh, $45,000 and that'll include the winter tires. It'll include the sensors. It'll include the rims. Um, and of course we will do a mount balance and install on the all seasons um, when it times come to put those on for you. So those are the two options. Uh, the regular MSRP uh, 47,844. We're gonna give you a 48,45 discount, bringing it down to 42,999 or 45,000 with the winter tires that are on it right now. All right guys, give me a call if you're interested. Um, it's available for test drive and I'm available anytime uh, at the number below or the email address as well.